hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to show a reference line on your chart for example this reference line or required level line I will show you how to show this type of line on your bar chart or any kind of chart you want to make and if you want to give this kind of a reference line shown by black color then how could you make it I will show you today so let's get started <coughs> sorry so what I have right now is this frame which I have prepared for making charts and when I press this frame it shows these kind of a bar chart which shows pressure and different parameters between 0 to 100 and I want to set up a reference line which should indicate me the level which is required for these values so for example I want a reference line at 90 and I want to see that ev every value is above 90 or not so for this chart I will prepare a reference line so let's see how do we do it I'll exit first of all my program and I will go to my frame I will right click it go to events action action perform and these chart for making chart uh, how to make a J free chart I have shown you from the video number 62 and above these kind of chart bar chart line chart pie chart how to make them I have shown near about uh, 62 video numbers so if you don't know how to make a J free chart go there and this method is applicable on every kind of a chart for example bar chart or line chart if you want to show a reference line you can do it with the help of this method so what you need to do is go to the bottom of your code this is the code we write for making a chart so if you don't know this code you can see from video number 62 63 64 I have shown you wherever you find the J free chart tutorial of mine uh, I have shown these kind of uh, code there so go and see there and what you need to do is I have written somewhere in my code category plot P is equal to chart dot chart get category chart plot and p dot set range this is not required but you can write this so main thing you need to search in your code is this line category plot and your variable name after this category plot variable name we need this p variable of category plot to write our code so go just below that and write uh, the code for the value marker or the reference line so write value marker is equal to marker 
marker is a variable name you can name it anything is equal to new once again copy this value marker and paste it here and bracket and bracket close it will show some error because I haven't fixed my import yet I will fix my import at the last so write this and in this box you need to write your reference value so this takes a float or an integer value so my range is between 0 to 900 and I want to set my reference line at 90 for example so I will write 90 here okay and in the next line I will write I will just copy this marker paste it here dot set label so this is the label for the marker so here you can provide any string text and this is basically just the name for your marker line so I will write required level this is your reference line name which will appear on your line and then once again copy this variable marker and paste it here dot set label test text anchor okay and this basically you can anchor your text of for this name above the line or center of the line or on the top of the line so I want my text to appear on top center of the line so I will write this and in the next line write once again marker dot set paint you can give any color to your line or the reference line I am giving right now black color and in the next line write this copy category plot variable name so my category plot variable name is p so I will write p here dot sorry dot add range marker and in here it will automatically take this value marker variable name so ba basically what you need to do is like write these four or five line of code and this will show a reference level on your chart so let's try and run our program this is my running jframe and I will click this and you can see here my reference line if you can see is set at 90 this is your reference line name which is not very clear here I will make it clear right now so what I will do is I will exit from here and instead of top center I will write 
anchor dot top right okay so it will show my line at top right and I will change my graph into the 3d graph so it will show my reference line more clearly and I run the program once again and I click this and you can see my reference line is automatically coming here okay so in this way you can make a reference line and you can change this also I want my line at 50 so this will convert my line at 50 also let's see yes now my line reference line is set at 50 so in this way you can show a reference line <coughs> on your chart one thing I also forgot is for the label marker marker is not seen so I will write here after marker dot set label I, I will write marker dot set label anchor and it automatically takes anchor dot center so instead of this I will write dot bottom right okay so now I can expect my this name to appear on the chart so let's see the name appears or not yes it appears here you can see required level so add that line also to show your lines basically it's just four or five lines of code and you can show your marker or reference line on your chart thank you very much for watching and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now